How many of you had your farewell yesterday? I'm sure you must have looked fantastic and I'm sure you enjoyed yourself and what about the after party how good was that Yeah it's a good experience you'll remember it for your life you'll always remember it and you will always find a happy moment there that is if you were happy on your farewell Well on that note those of you who are about to have your farewell look fantastic look elegant show off as much as you can but then ultimately get your brains back to english because as yash sir reminded me yesterday that english literature happens to be on valentines day ah a day of love and what will you love that day english literature that means you love me and i love you back what can be better so let's start practicing this love and let's start with english language let's start preparing for valentines day and pre valentines day 13th right 13th will be your pre valentine and 14th will be your valentine god is telling you that you love english the first thing over here i would like to discuss is all that glitters is not gold how suitable is the statement when applied on people as cumbersome and as disgusting as it might seem is actually very scoring yeah See if you try to write even a little bit out of 20 you're able to bag a lot of marks nobody can simply just cut you off and say no this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong because a golden rule that english follows ek comparative example ye diya dusra ye there was a uh, there's a, yet there's another person i know who xyz whoever you might want to say who has been working not that much but talking a lot writing essays i cannot recall a proper quote that suits the best how do i improve on that that's a very good question coming to functional grammar functional grammar is confusing i know i will write them out and i will give them to you but as many you practice write your answers and after that only check it with the solution <clears throat> in english you get something like 16 65 out of 100 how to bridge the gap again how to score more writing all the papers that you will attempt you will attempt in written mode where you practice your writing 60 65 will easily rise to 80 85 cram up seven or eight quotations kahin na kahin wo fit ho jayengi i will deal with another uh, uh, with english language guest paper two tomorrow and i'm sure we can come back to essays again but before we get over with the essay segment essay and composition and story writing segment <clears throat> let me tell you today go back home i mean you are already at home you have 18 topics 18 topics bahut hote hain to inko aap 10 pointers mein to convert karo pehle uske upar aap 10 10 points mein plan kam se kam uska plan to likh lo वो अपने आप में बहुत बड़ी चीज है बहुत बड़ी इट इज अंटेस्टिक टूल डोंट अंडर एस्टिमेट इट और राइट फ्रॉम हियर नाउ आई टू जस्ट आंसर वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट डू वी डू विद अ टॉपिक लाइक रिफ्लेक्शन वॉट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाई रिफ्लेक्शन एक तो मतलब रिफ्लेक्शन का हुआ आपकी परछाई योर शेडो और एक रिफ्लेक्शन हुआ your thoughts so how important is thoughtfulness that is the meaning of reflection how important is your thoughtfulness about something for example i would say i would like to reflect in detail about on uh, uh, about the atrocities on animals on the roads i would like to deeply convey my thoughts or elaborate on my thoughts on the manner in which pollution is not stopping despite the fact we are getting educated about it more and more so reflection ka matlab hua what do you reflect on where do you take your thoughts that in itself will give you your topic okay 
so i tried to move and i made a lot of uh, beetles and insects over you <laughs> okay this is your heading any any problem in that ye to bilkul kitna easy hai marks to matlab aapko muft ke marks mil rahe hain kuch karna hi nahi hai even if they are based on mythology they are presented in front of us with uh, the purpose that the millennial reader should be able to connect with the book can final assessment mein beta hamesha aapka apna opinion matter karta hai uh, ma'am what play can we take for writing theater review okay and i'm sure you'll all do very well the fact that you are taking interest in preparing let me tell you this guru mantra the fact that you are already taking interest in preparing is indicative that you will do well don't worry you will do well yeah so i'll call it a day now and uh, with you let me tell you even i am learning thank you so much